Hmm. Well, this is unusual. What is going on here? I don't know. You can just walk calmly in, but let's not do that, because that is boring as fuck. Hmm. Definitely Soviet though. That was that was the hammer and sickle. What is the point of all this? Okay. I need to stay calm. You do that. For fifteen years I hung in cryo like a bag of forgotten frozen vegetables. That's what they said anyway. They played us real good with that story they spun. Another planet suitable for hu housing human life? Can't believe I fell for it. I actually have to compliment them on the lack of oxygen. That's a really nice touch. Of course, they probably just tampered with the meters. I bet I could take off this helmet right now. Is that what this is? A test to see how long it takes us to break protocol? I'm not on some rocket turn. I'm not some rocket jockey kid playing at being an astronaut. What in the hell is the point of all this? And where did they take my crew? Need to stay calm. My head is probably still my head is still spinning from the crash. Probably need to probably need a doctor. I bet they think that's funny too. Hmm. Very strange. Well, there's a town here. I can't open the doors. My oxygen levels are nominal. У меня нет слов, чтобы выразить свою гордость в связи с началом наших экспериментов здесь, в этом новом мире. Когда мне описывали зеленый огонь, это звучало неправдоподобно. Как будто из мультфильма. Я и не мог представить себе, что увижу такой красочный мир. Я просто ошеломлен его красотой. И теперь нам предстоит трудный путь по культуриванию этой планеты на благо нашей Родины. Правительство Запада расценивает наши намерения как агрессивные. Они не признают наш суверенитет. Суверенитет Советского Союза. Но за нами стоит Alright. This is a little beyond me. I, my Russian isn't that great, but something about an experiment here on a new world, so that supports this actually being a new world. Uh, Sovietsky Soyuz is, uh, you know, Soviet Russia. Not, not quite, but close enough. And that's a little distracting, actually, so... Shut up. Alright, stop. Let me read this in peace. Director's Report, 2506-1978. Hmm. There are no words to emphasize my pride as I begin our experiments here on this new world. Okay, so this is probably it in English. Well, I wish I'd been reading. When they described the green fire to me, it sounded artificial, like something drawn in an animation. To imagine that I would lay eyes on a world so colorful, I'm overwhelmed by its beauty, and now we begin a journey to cultivate this place in the name of the motherland. Yeah, there you go, Sovietsky Soyuz. Uh, the governments of the West call our intentions aggressive. They do not believe in the sovereignty that is our Soviet Union. But we have seen so many victories. We repelled Germany's aggressions in our glorious rise to power and fought with valor to spread our communist ideal to other broken nations. But what we accomplish here will drive the Soviet Union ahead of the entire world without ever firing a shot. What we, we will power the entire Soviet Union with what we learn here. And I am the one who will lead us to victory. Auto translated from Russian, yeah. Well. Would have been nice to have that at the top, because then I wouldn't have tried to translate it myself. Uh, oh well. So yeah, fun fact, I speak Russian. Look at that. Not How terribly well, possible? though. I don't know. Apparently, the 
Soviet space program, though, was a hell of a lot better than ours. Maybe that trackway will lead me to my crew. Maybe it will. Let's explore more. Anything of internet? Doesn't look like it. This is definitely collapsed. And not vacuum of space architecture. I have no fucking clue what's going on. Hello, there's a thing in there. So I should be able to uh, enter. Can't open that door. Oh, wait, I can jump. Duh. How do I make it up there? Like that. Lab security code part B. Second half of the code for access to the Southern Laboratory is 549. In keeping with security protocol, this portion of the security code must be kept separate from the other half of the code. Whoop, not what I meant to do. Alright, interesting. I don't know which way is south, though. Well, let's top up oxygen and head out. Nice and convenient that that building is red, because it's of interest. But, let's go. Power lines. So does that mean that there was, like, a power generator? Maybe that giant building out there? What about this sunken one? And there's a thing over there, too. I'm gonna have to explore all of this. Things I miss. Life has gotten very hard here. I want to go home so much. My brother said I should make a list of things I miss about home. I smile when I think about these things. Hopefully we'll be able to go back very soon. Things I miss from home. Chiborashka. <laughs> That's great. That's an old, like, stop-motion cartoon type of thing. Laughter. Music. Surprised they don't have those here. Babushka's samovar. I don't know what that is. Kind of food, maybe. Medicine. Very strange they don't have that. Fresh bread, milk, and mommy. Hmm. That's a little depressing. So it looks like a kid wrote that, though. Oh my. These graves seem pretty makeshift. Like they were in a hurry to bury the bodies. That's not good. I forgot to read that. Discovered a collection of makeshift graves outside the town. Whatever and wherever this place is, it seems things didn't end well for the inhabitants. It does seem that way. Hello? A door? I'm guessing that this may be the Southern Laboratory. Hmm. Yep, it is. Nothing on top. Doesn't look like anything's behind it either, so let's look for the other part of the code, I guess. I've got nothing better to do. Find my team? Psh, nonsense. That's not important at all. What is this, just a rock? Looks like an old entrance that sort of fell apart. Hmm. Very interesting. Very interesting. I have no idea what's going on here. Hmm. Okay, more power lines, but... Cliff between us and them, it looks like. Oh no, that's not nearly as deep as I thought it was. Cool. This is, though. Wow. Don't fall down there. Oh no, that's a fence, not another power line. 
Well then, I guess we should go to that giant thing. Which I have no idea what it is. I'll just head back to the road first. Because there's probably a story element there. Hmm. Whoa, what? What? There you are. Are you okay? Oh, oh shit. Listen, we're almost out of oxygen. I'm pretty low myself, but I'm gonna give you everything I can. I think there may be some air canisters in that town. Be all right now. Just hang in there, buddy. We'll figure this out together, all right? Whoa! The fuck? Um. First half of code for access to Southern Laboratory is three three one. The fuck? Okay, that was a little weird. I think I'm gonna go now. Go find that lab. Holy shit, what was that though? Like, what the hell? Okay. Hmm. Yeah, it did say eight hours at the beginning, but I guess if I have a leak, that's not very reliable. Also, since I'm passing out of oxygen loss. See, estimated eight hours remaining. I definitely have not been playing for eight hours. So there's definitely a leak, and there's definitely no air outside. Except I can hear things. And that flag is flapping in the wind. So there's something. I guess it's just not breathable. Any more. 